Hey, I'm Victoria Comfort. And I'm Ethan Ring. And you're watching JCNS TV News. On today's show, we'll feature Key Club Week, the tragic loss of Kobe Bryant, and a highlight with the senior wrestler. The deadline to apply for IV program is Friday, January 31st. If you have any questions, contact Dr. Golden for more information. The Harlem Wizards will be at JCCHS on Sunday, March 8th at 4 p.m. Tickets are on sale now. Get them today at the Harlem Wizards website. It's Key Club Week. Today in advisement, you can write a thank you note to your teachers and staff or fellow peers. Tomorrow you can take your picture with the kindness sign that will be in the cafeteria and share that photo with the hashtag JCNSKindness. On Friday after school, you guys can join Key Club in room C3 to help them sanitize the school as part of the club service project. Attention seniors, make sure to pay your senior dues of $125 before February 29th or a $20 late fee will be added. Order at their website online. Introducing your SAT Word of the Week. Undulate. Undulate means to move in ripples or a wavy pattern. Undulate comes from the Latin word unda, which means wave. Let's use this word in a sentence. Squidward is able to undulate his body very well. So yeah, undulate. Now you know. The Georgia Institute of Technology, also known as Georgia Tech, is one of the top ranked research institutes in the nation. Georgia Tech is organized into six colleges, consisting of business, computing, design, engineering, sciences, and liberal arts. Its main campus is located in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia, but has satellite campuses in China, France, and Ireland. The price of going to Georgia Tech is costly, but if you're a Georgia resident and you receive the HOPE scholarship, you can knock off a big chunk of the price. The Georgia Institute of Technology is ranked high against many of the top universities in the U.S. Georgia Tech is ranked 29th, while UGA is ranked 50th. Some famous alumni of Georgia Tech include Jimmy Carter, the former president from Georgia, Bobby Jones, the one who created the Golf Masters Tournament, and Mike Duke, the former president and CEO of Walmart. Up next, our weekly segment, Dancing with Devontae. This is Devontae, back with Dancing with Devontae. I'm Devontae, this is Dancing with Devontae. With Devontae, I'm going to show you how to do dancing with me, Devontae. Because I'm Devontae and I'm dancing, so it's dancing with Devontae. Today we'll be doing a serious dance called the shoot. So, with your nice calves like mine, you want to. Like you're kicking something. You're not really kicking anything. And with your arm, same motion. <laughs> Alright, that was it with dancing with Devontae. Next week I have something very special, so. Yeah. Stay tuned for Devontae's next moves. Before we move on to sports, here's a recap of the NBA basketball player Kobe Bryant who tragically passed away Sunday. This is the saddest news in NBA history. Sunday morning, Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, and seven others unfortunately passed away in a helicopter crash. All around the U.S., people are mourning his passing. The 6'6 giant Kobe Bryant 
was born in 1978 in Pennsylvania, died at 2020 in California, age 41. He was drafted into the NBA in 1996, round one, pick 13th overall by the Los Angeles Lakers. He was shooting guard and number eight and then number 24. He played for the Los Angeles Lakers since 1996 to 2016. He scored 33,643 points, scoring 25 points a game. He also won two gold Olympic medals in Beijing and London, and scored one gold medal in the American Championship. Now for the sports! Welcome. We would first like to congratulate Sarah Beth Allen on furthering her softball career at Georgia Tech. Sarah Beth will officially sign at 3.30 in the Panthem Auditorium today after school. Last week, our men's basketball team took a big win against Morgan County, going 55-35. JV and varsity ba uh, basketball will be on the road to Jefferson for their last game. Season last game of the season, starting at 4 p.m. with the JV girls. Last weekend, our swim team broke the school record again. Good, good job, swim team. 200 free relay. Kayla Shepard, Olivia Baker, Desi Qualls, Emily Giles are now the owners of the best team in school history. The men's wrestling team had multiple top finishers at Elbert County with Nathan McArthur, Tyler Wester, Caden Adrianson, and Aiden uh, Giroux placing first. Here's a short video with senior Tyler Wester. So my friends got me into wrestling in eighth grade and uh, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the, the atmosphere and um, just the sport in general, so I stuck with it. My best memory would have to be uh, beating Jefferson in the state tournament uh, to take third. That was pretty awesome. This is my senior season for uh, with wrestling and hoping to make it a state and uh, win it all. So yeah. he's gonna win it all. Yeah, all right. for sure. That's all for sports today. I'm your new sports anchor, Jason Williams. Well, you know what time it is. <laughs> Who's going to be Teacher of the Week? Spin it, Ethan. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. The heck? Huh? What is this? Looks like we're having some technical difficulties, folks. Uh, uh guys, uh, give us a minute. Uh, hey, oh, uh, I'm on it, boys. <laughs> Well, uh, let's try this again. Who's gonna be Teacher of the Week? Spit it, Ethan. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. At least it's working this time. Yeah, he fixed it, thankfully. Looks like we can carry on. Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 yes! Wow! Oh! Incredible yes! job! Wow! Mr. Snell, like, banned people with ice. Oh, wow. What do you have to say about it, Mr. Snell? Hey! Hey! Hey, Mr. Snell, I've got a question for you. How does it feel to be Teacher of the Week? Cool. Okay, be that way. I guess that's it. See you guys later next time. See you. That's all for this week. I'm Victoria Comfort. And I'm Ethan Ring. And remember, stay, stay cool. Stay cool. Stay cool. <laughs>